But if Tiger and Hogan both do it, it's not by accident. Because no one does this on purpose. You can see how it's just a very unnatural move. So it's like everyone talks about a square face at the top, but no one talks about a square face at the finish. What's going on guys? Welcome to week 59 of my journey to scratch. About 11 months ago, I started taking lessons with my golf coach, Zach Burhau, and it was probably the best decision I've ever made for my golf game. When I first started, I had the same natural tendencies as most amateur golfers. I would come over the top quite a bit. On a good day, it was a fade. On a bad day, it was a slice. I was pretty inconsistent, and I had very little control of my face and my path. In the last year, we've put in a ton of work to really transform my swing, and the results have been pretty amazing. Not only does my swing look better and feel better, but my scoring average for 2023 was an 83.5, which is the lowest scoring average I've ever had for a golf season. The lesson that you guys are about to watch was actually recorded about three weeks ago. It's all about the club face. It's all about club face stabilization. It's a move that feels very unnatural, but Tiger Woods and Ben Hogan, two of the best ball strikers in the history of our sport, both did it. So I don't think it was a coincidence that they did. Zach thinks that this is what made them so deadly with their short irons and wedges. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you drop a like if you do. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. This is my golf journey where I showcase all of it so that hopefully we can get better at golf together. And if you have any questions at all, make sure you drop them down below. I'll make sure to get to them. And a lot of the times Zach goes through and responds to them as well. Okay, take it up to the top. Give that a little deeper. So this right shoulder was kind of here. Okay. I'm gonna get that more back behind you. Perfect. There you go. Now go to your finish. Yeah. Feel a little wider there. Okay. There you go. There. Wide and wide. Yeah. Good. Better. Yes. And try and keep that left elbow pointing more to the target when you finish. Yep. There you go. Oh, so here instead of here, right? Correct. Yep. Cool. So I just want you to think when you're at the top of your swing, so basically right, let me see it real quick. Right here, see how the right elbow is at 90 degrees right there? Uh -huh. I want a mirror opposite finish here. Perfect. So what I see is a lot of people will get here in a decent spot, but then they'll finish kind of more over there. Gotcha. So I want to feel a mirror opposite right elbow here left elbow here perfect right there so see how my arm is folding and rotating right there i want the same thing on the other side so as i come through rotate fold yep. here versus if i pull see where that elbow is yeah yep so lower rotate and fold up so feel once you extend right to here there you go now fold the elbow up this way yes so you don't want to feel like the hands take it up feel like the elbow takes it up Good, sorry. That way. Feel that cut. There we go. A little less wrist, a little more elbow. Yes, right there. So think of when you come to takeaway right here. So you're here. See how we fold there, right? Yeah. We want this same thing on the opposite side with the left elbow. Yes, much better. Almost now, like with the bicep. Yeah, but now keep it wide here. No, fold, 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 fold. But don't pinch. So like you don't want to come in like that. Okay. See how the bicep and the forearm are touching? Yeah. See how that's more out there. So if you look oh, at my- Oh, okay, I think I see what you're saying. See how I'm there? So that's takeaway, right? Uh-huh. Now this is release, see how I'm there? See how it's the opposite? Yeah. And then now, here's top, right? See how that's there? Uh-huh. I'm not there. And then as I come through, see how it's there? It's not there. Yes, way better. Very nice. Does that feel a little different? Yeah. Go to one more position here. Go to that finish. Okay, hold. See how you can see the back of your club right there? See how the grooves are pointed to the corner over there? Yeah. So now don't move the club, bring it back down to impact. Way close. See that? That's where you wanna be. I call that the final position. Okay. So you want the handle pointed back to the ball and you want the grooves pointed at you. So right there, see how square that is? Yeah. So if you look at this here, both Hogan and Tiger do this flawlessly. See how the club face, you can see the grooves and see how the handle is pointed back to the ball. 
So if you look at when I go to finish, most people finish like this. So as I bring that back, see how shut that is? Yeah. Okay. Now as I come through, see how the handle's pointed back to the ball? And see how the grooves are pointed back towards me? Yeah. See, that's where Hogan is? And see how that elbow's in front of him? Yeah. It's not to the side here, right? Yeah. And then from there, as I bring that back, see how that's there? Yeah. So what I, you can feel is bring it up to the top. People want to do this right here. Get that to there. And then just bring it back one-handed. We want to get that instead of way close because that, so well, that's for a controlled release, right? That yeah, way we're exactly. like controlling that face so through impact. The face is square throughout the whole swing. So if you look to same thing right here, so watch when he finishes. See how the elbow's in front of him? Yeah. But see how the grooves are looking back at him? Yeah. And the handle's pointing back to the ball. Do that again. Now, see how shut that is? There we go. Now bring it back. Yes. So Yes, way better. So it's almost like no wrist manipulation from almost so, here, right? So basically here, we get to here, right? And then up and more that way. It's the hardest thing, but I, think, I truly believe in my heart it's correct. So here's why I think this is so important. So if you look at, imagine there's one club here, right? Okay. So as I go back to the top, see how the handle is pointed back to the original handle? Yes. Right there, right? And the grooves are pointed at you, right? So as I come through, now watch to here. So I'm still on that same angle, right? Uh-huh. See how the handle is pointed back to yeah. there? So it's basically, the perfect position at every point. Gotcha, it's a perfect mirror. Exactly. It's, so as I come back, see how I'm here? Yeah. Okay, now watch. Now your left has to do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. So it's a lot of three quarter shots with this. Okay. And this will really make your wedges deadly. But try and get that finish a little bit. Did I go too far past? Yeah, so see how you just came all the way up here? Yeah. Just feel like you're stopping like right there. Okay. Good. Yes, yeah, right there. Don't even worry about a full finish. Good. Nice. That's it. Love it, Ernie. How'd that feel? Felt good. So now, let's see where the finish is. Really good coming down. See how you're extending out, but you're not rolling it over? Yeah. Can't see the grooves because of the TrackMan video, but looked all right. Sick. Yeah. It feels, it feels, feels different, but I think it's good. I like, you're 100% right. It's, it's, a, it's a full mirror of yeah. what we're doing in the backswing. Yep. I'm convinced this is the master move. The finishing touches of putting it all together. So like if we're building a house, this is the roof. This is the roof? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right, three quarter again? Yep, feel that. Do you feel how it's less flimsy over here? Yeah. Yeah, more controlled, more putting in place? A hundred percent. Stop it just a little shorter. But if you notice on all these, the ball is not going left. There you go. See how you can see the grooves right there? Yeah. And just try and get your elbow a little more in front of you. Perfect. So like you look back to here, look at how much the elbow is in front of them. Wow. Wow. Okay. Like. Yeah, like that. And then just a little bit of bend and fold. Nice, Ernie. Really good. That's a completely different finish. And see how much spin it's getting. Wow. A lot of loft. Yeah, really nice. I like that. That's cool. Yeah. How would you explain that in your own words? I like the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Once we, once I realize, like, okay, they always say like you're holding yeah. like a tray. You got to do it on this side too. Yeah. I was, I was scared when we first talked about it. I was scared that it was gonna make me just leave it wide open, but it, it doesn't. It's because we're already closed back here. Yeah. We're just not continuing to close it through here. So it's just a stabilization and then yeah. let the elbows take it up. So it's like when I get here in the takeaway, I'm not doing a whole bunch of stuff with my wrists. 
Yeah. I'm just coming to here. Yeah. So it's like when I get to here, just come to here. So here, go right hand only. Now go to your top. Uh, finish, sorry. Okay, now twist it, like close it, other way. No. That's what you do. Okay. So see where your hand and your wrist are? Yeah. Okay, now keep the handle pointed. There we go. So think of where that left arm is here, right? Yeah. There we go. I feel a little different. Yeah, it's like the almost like a bow, right? Yeah, there's <laughs> a little bit. You talk about more. the bowing yeah. here, but it's yeah. the bowing here. But you don't really have to. Like you can just keep yeah. it kind of straight. Yeah, right it's there. Still yeah. doing the same it's thing. just finding what's comfortable for you. Most important thing is that the grooves are looking back at you. Yes. I like it. Nice. So just gotta make sure that you get it square first. So that, that'd be the only downside to this. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I felt like I was just trying to yeah. stay, like I was so focused on stabilizing that I didn't so close just, here. Yeah, let that elbow just turn a little earlier. There you go, yep. And then come through there, very nice. Yeah, and just make sure you don't pin the elbow too much there. So you see how the elbow's off the body here? Yeah. So like you look at right in there, there's a gap, it's not pinned. Same thing you look at here. See how it's not pinned? Yeah. It's so wide. Yeah. It's so wide. It's really thin. Yep. That's just where you gotta get a little more grass. When you look there, it's like, okay, it felt terrible, but look at your path in your face. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. It's, it's stable. That'd be an ideal miss. Yeah. I like it. Elbow pointing a little bit left, but really nice club face. So much right. more spin on it now. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, just think if I roll it over, I'm de-lofting it and I'm shutting the face and yeah. taking spin off. Really thin again. Yep. Trying to get a little more grass. Okay. Yep, trying to stay low and wide. Don't just get wide. What do you mean by low and wide? Oh, just don't try and pick it up and get wide. Try keep it low as you come down. So like here, let me see it. So as you come through, I want to feel like the club head stays low and wide down here, gets as far away from my body. So if there's a straight line from my left shoulder to my left elbow to my wrist to my thumb to the grip to the shaft to the head, see how that head is as far away from my left shoulder as possible? Yeah. I'm low and wide right there. If I pick it up here, see how I'm getting more narrow? Yeah. I'm trying to get it out here all the way and then fold up. Here, drop your club real quick. Just, just drop it. So take your left elbow and do the turn thing that we did last time, but then fold it. There you go. Yes, like that. And that feel different? Yeah, but I feel like I'm pinching now, right? Yep. There you go. So now pull your left elbow away like you did last time. This, and then look where the elbow points. Now go to your finish. See how it's way behind you? Yeah. That's it, much better. Good, face just a little bit open. Just gotta make sure you just rotate a little bit back here. Before so it's I... rotate the elbow like we worked on last time, and then fold. Yep, fold and then mirror it. There you go. Yep. It's gonna be a lot of slow rehearsals with this. Okay. And then if you could do this in front of a mirror, even better. Yeah, def this is like the hardest stuff for me to grasp. Yeah, it was hard it's for important. me to change it when I figured it out. Yeah? Yeah, like it, it's very, very tedious. But if Tiger and Hogan both do it, it's not by accident. Because no one does this on purpose. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can see how it's just a very unnatural move. It's like everyone talks about a square face at the top, but no one talks about a square face at the finish. That's it. Great job. I like that swing. Really nice. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. It's something that it's going to take me months to get really comfortable with. What I want to do for the rest of the video is I got about a hundred yard shot. I'm hitting a pitching wedge, three quarters. Let's see if I can get a hole in one. Looking good. Go left. Oh, the screen's flat. We got the perfect distance though. That's looking good. It's looking good. Go. Oh.
looks really good. Come on. <laughs> Little foot. Oh my god. Go in. Go in. Oh. Oh, this one looks good. Oh, short. And I wasn't. It needs to be like on the line. That one feels really nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. That one is so good. I thought that was going to be it. That was a lot of fun, guys. Couldn't get the hole in one, unfortunately. Felt like I had a really good practice session there. As always, huge thank you to Zach. All his information will be down in the description below. I'm sure I have it on the screen up as well. If you've never seen any of my videos before or any of my lessons with Zach, they're the best videos on my channel by far. They're the most fun to make. I'm gonna put the playlist right here where you can watch every single one of them if you'd like. And yeah, I guess that, that's it. I'll catch you guys next Friday. I hope you're having a wonderful time and staying warm out there. Take care.